1 Corinthians 10.12 For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves. But they, measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves, are not wise. Have you ever heard one person point out another person's flaw or mistake, then heard that person justify his or her own flaw by saying something like, well, at least I'm not as bad as fill in the blank. I have heard things like that many times. The Bible tells us that it is not wise to compare yourself with others. We have all failed to live up to the perfection of God, and He deserves no less than that same level of perfection. Yet He gives forgiveness and grace to save us in spite of our imperfections. Romans 3.21-24 But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets, even the righteousness of God which is by faith in Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. No one person is ever truly better or worse than another. All have sinned, and all need the forgiveness of God to be saved from the eternal death and torment that sin brings. You may think you are better than someone else because you see their sin as worse than yours, but God sees all sin as rebellion against Him, and He will do away with all rebellion and with those who live in and practice rebellion without ever repenting of it. Proverbs 27, 1-2 Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what the day may bring forth. Let another man praise thee, and not thine own mouth, a stranger, and not thine own lips. Lifting up yourself as if you are righteous is not a good idea. People can see by the way that you live whether you live up to your own statements about yourself or not. On the other hand, if people see that you live a righteous life, they may say something about it either to you or to others about you, and that builds trust and relationships, and may give you good opportunities to glorify God in your life and conversations. Romans 12.3 for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Faith is a gift that God has given to every single human being. What makes the difference is not the level of faith one has, but where that person chooses to put that faith. Putting that faith in Jesus and living for Him will grow and produce righteousness. But that righteousness is from Jesus and is not of yourself. In other words, it's not you that is better than someone else. Rather, any good that is in you is Jesus in you. So there is no room for pride in that righteousness which comes from Him alone. On the other hand, putting that faith in someone or something else, or even in yourself, will lead to sin and judgment. James 4.10-12 Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? If you attempt to make yourself look better by putting down someone else whom you see as being worse than yourself, then you behave arrogantly to lift up yourself as a judge over others while you seek to justify yourself and refuse to acknowledge your own sin and deal with it. This is not good.
Matthew 7, 1 through 5 Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, and considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Jesus calls all his people to deal with their own sin first, so they can see clearly to help another person to overcome their sin. Luke 16:15, And he, Jesus, said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. God hates self-justification and pride because those who justify themselves will not come to him for forgiveness so they can be made truly just through him. Isn't it time you deal with your own sin and stop trying to justify it by saying someone else is worse than you are? You can do that by repenting, turning away from your sin, and turning to Jesus so he can be your righteousness. That starts with a simple little prayer, like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of His will, so you can live out His holiness in your life. If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May Jesus be your righteousness.